All right. Hoddle, hoddle, hoddle. Save, save, save. Build a, build a, build a. Sound money. Sound money. Hey, Hugo, you got to get on the program. Where were you on this thing? You know, ah, okay. All right. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know I was on already. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we never know. So, guys, this is uh, members only. And as I outlined before, we're doing an entirely new format. This is really informal. We just rant and rave uh, and do our own thing. And we're setting up the studios on, when the couch is downstairs. Hopefully, we'll be ready to go next week. My, my camera guy's got all my equipment and isn't bringing it back. He apparently had a job. So at any rate, well, hopefully, we'll get that resolved this week. But uh, uh, what I wanted, I wanted to get Hugo on because he's had some really good market observations. Uh, incidentally, sitting next to me, this is Roger, uh, and he's our... Mus resident musician you want to introduce yourself a little bit yeah roger 9000 uh i make music for bitcoiners as a musician i guess i i just like to i just like to sing about bitcoin man because it's it's way bigger than what any of us can imagine right now so um just falling down that rabbit hole is just an exciting experience and being surrounded by bitcoiners being surrounded by people like ugly and, well and, and roger's ugly. a musician so what's really cool cool is i've got a musician here and i've got uh an artist here so we're we're, we're gonna make music and, gonna... and create some pretty stuff i hope <laughs> yeah 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 I've, I've got some surprises uh coming for you too ugly it uh it's gonna be fun it's yeah be so fun. it's kind of like i say what my dream of kind of setting up a a a a, 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 a labri kind of thing where people you know, come down here and hang out. It's starting yeah. to happen. And, uh, you know, we we're, we, we hopefully we'll take it to the next level. So, uh, but I wanted to bring you go on, uh, because I was listening to him the other day and he started broadcasting, I guess, last March. And I tuned in earlier this week and he was talking about how, uh, uh, the altcoin season has already happened. And he pulled up his chart and said, here it is. And he says, I, and I, you know, of course, I agree with you completely. So, so I have no problem propagating that. So I thought, uh, I rather than express my thoughts on it, uh, give me your take. How, you, how did you come to that conclusion? What are you looking at? Okay, do you want me to share the screen, or maybe I can yeah. use my own, my own? I maybe like this. Yeah, no, that's fine. Well, you, are you, is he showing up? Are you? Is he sharing on us? Okay, yeah, no, you take take it over, man. Well. Um, so as you guys know, the altcoin season, as people like to call it, happens when the altcoins in general as one entity goes up uh, and Bitcoin goes down. So that what happens is the altcoin season, you know, in dominance, what happens in reality is that Bitcoin goes down in dominance and all the altcoins together as one go up in dominance. So I was just, uh, I guess you were watching my previous video on Monday when I was talking really, really fast about this. I was just uh, a short update about this and I was showing this chart on screen and this is the dominance, Bitcoin dominance chart. And as you guys can see here, we have been going down since uh, December last year. So by the end of December, 2020, Bitcoin was around 74, 75%, almost, yeah, seven, almost 74% in dominance, which means that the total market cap of the market was 74% in Bitcoin and all the rest in altcoins di distributed e uh, equally or so not so much equally among them. So the thing is in December, 2020, Bitcoin dominance started to come down. And of course, what that means is that uh, altcoins as one started to go up. So this is the reverse move that when Bitcoin goes down in dominance, altcoins increase the total market cap. So what, what I was saying then on Monday was that actually uh, there's a lot of people still talking about this, uh, the altcoin market and still waiting for the alt season. And I said, man, you had the alt season already because Bitcoin came <laughs> <Yeah>. down. <laughs> so if you were not looking, the alt season is gone 
because when when bitcoin started to come down from december until now which was around 37 percent in total market cap no, sorry not 37 but around around 40 percent so all this movement here this was the alt season so yep. that means that if bitcoin comes down in, in in dominance of total market cap the altcoins together go up and of course we had a lot of altcoins going up uh I don't remember all the names because I'm more of a maximalist, but uh, uh, Solana and Link, these were at least two of the most spoken on Twitter and they were going up like crazy. So of course, if you mean the altcoin season, this, this was the altcoin season because from here we have support already for Bitcoin on the dominance chart. And the only time that we were below 40% was in January, 2018 when Bitcoin lost the dominance and went to 30, 35% of Bitcoin of uh, total market cap. Yeah. So in this yeah. case, just after this one, after this bottom here, we had another one, just a, a, a small retest, but this was not even going there around the 39, 40%. And this happened in April, 2018. And then since then until December, 2020, Bitcoin recovered all the, the market cap dominance and went to 75, almost 75% again. So what happens is we lost the dominance again and we went down below to 40% and we have a double bottom. So having a double bottom here makes me believe that Bitcoin dominance is now going to get up again and reverse this tendency, reverse to the upside here. So that means that the altcoins as one market is going to go down again. Well, everyone knows that when Bitcoin, uh, when Bitcoin goes um, exponentially up, like it's happening today, for example, that we already went up a few thousand dollars, everyone knows that with some delay, the altcoins will also go up in price. But if they don't go up as much as Bitcoin is going, the Bitcoin dominance in the total market cap continues to increase, and then the alt season will never happen. Of course, the altcoins will go up in price, yeah. But that doesn't mean that the alt season is coming again, because yeah, this was, mean, as I said before, this was the yellow the circle country. here, this movement from 75 to 40 percent. So maybe you want to maybe you want to join this analysis, Ugly, and, and tell me what no, you think. I, I, I have no I think it's, that's why I wanted to have you on, because I thought you're spot on. I know that uh, you also think there's a cup and handle that's forming in Bitcoin itself and that we're going to go on up. Guys, you know. I come up from the angle, we don't know. We we really don't, nobody knows, uh, and we have to trade accordingly. But there are fundamentals. And I again, I emphasize my whole thing is money management. In fact, uh, we haven't been hearing from me because I'm really working on this book, okay? And it's going to be fully developed, hodl, save, build it and I, it to construct it uh it's going to be as thorough as i can make it when what what is known and i've been learning a uh, listening a lot to lawrence white who uh just a brilliant uh, economist and i know i i should link it but it'll be in the in the book nick carter and lawrence white have done a couple of interviews and i think nick carter uh has it, it pr pretty well gets it and i know he's been working a lot down there in in uh El Salvador. So uh, that's the other thing we're going to uh, talk to about today, because uh, if you're talking about Twitter and I'm I, where I want to go and what, what I'm seeing develop and what I think the potential is, is it's like Lawrence White has said, it's kind of like the chicken and the egg. You have to have banking come in <laughs> if you want to get rid of the volatility, but you can't get a real, the, rid of the volatility without the banking. So how do you do that? And then as Bitcoiners, we always want to say, well, we need to be our own banks, but we've really dropped the ball. Everybody wants to be, be the standard and have their shit coin and then be the bank. No, you got to be a bank with Bitcoin. And we haven't figured that one out yet. And uh, I, I think the solution, you know, as much as I don't like, the idea of having legal tender because now it makes it uh, uh, a political, political issue instead of an economic issue. As much as I don't like it, it does open up the potential 
for Bitcoiners to become their own banks, at least there. And where you can actually uh, pay your, your, your pay a producer, they can call it a taco stand if you want. We can just talk about taco stands. Uh, you know, so th because it's, you don't want to buy coffee with your Bitcoin. You know, that's stupid. You want to hodl Bitcoin, but the, what you want to do is pay people, pay your suppliers and pay your, your help, your labor in Bitcoin. Now they have to have the local currency to eat. So the 80% of 85, in fact, if, if they continue to live paycheck to paycheck, they're going to sell it everything every month. They're going to get out of the Bitcoin and just take the dollars to, to, to live by. But you're going to sell the dollars and you're going to hold the Bitcoin. And that's how you build. And, and you can actually create, and, and it's the, the banking, it, you're actually not giving them Bitcoin. You're giving them a Bitcoin credit. It's a, you're indexing the new production coming into the market, uh, uh, on bit on the Bitcoin standard, and as you do that, and your paper that you're issuing comes back, it, you retire those notes, and it's a self liquidating uh, commercial banking. Uh, and then there's I've done some more studies on on the private. It's just all <laughs> kinds of stuff I'm finding out that, that I I'm excited about. I'm really excited about it, and so that's why I'm not focusing on on. Uh, uh, trading right now. I'm focusing on, I hope, teaching a, a worthwhile message because I, I I don't have the answers, but I kind of have a vague outline of maybe where we should go. <laughs> and that, that's what I'm excited about. So you were gonna, you want to talk a little bit about what's going on with, with Twitter and Bitcoin payment rails. I'm not sure. Just, just, you, just you before that, just, yeah. if you allow me, just uh, allow me to complete here. Uh, I just want to show something. Um, so this is the, still the same chart, the Bitcoin dominance chart. And as you guys see, because of this rally that we are having uh, since last night and today, we are already reversing the total market cap uh, price yeah. structure yeah. here. And of course, what that means is that Bitcoin is going up like crazy and the altcoins are not keeping up. Right. So that's right. why the total market cap is increasing here. And probably this is a double bottom that will uh, probably will uh, reverse the price here, the price action of the total market cap, which is not in fact the price, it's just a percentage, but will reverse the percentage of the Bitcoin dominance to the upside. So the fact that we have this really long candle here, uh, this means that Bitcoin is going up and the altcoins are not keeping up at going up also. Uh, well, so in this Eddie, case... Can you pull up the article 6, 16th and 26th off of Medium? Because we want to share that. Just so you know, I don't know if, if you how many of my Medium articles you read, but I always, I long years ago, I said, look, there's a wives' tale which happens so often it can't be ignored. And that is there tends to be a strong market reversals on the 6th, 16th, and 26th. Doesn't mm. always happen, but it, you know, <laughs> it happens yeah. quite a bit. But yeah. Yeah, I actually I, I read almost all your articles on on Medium, I guess, but uh, I just commented a few. Uh, but I usually read all, all your articles, so. Yeah, so that's just but a little also mentioned... tale, but it were, it's kind of like the uh, uh, you know the uh, Larry Williams tone vase uh, the, that indicator. It you know it works so often you don't want to ignore it. <laughs> so... Yeah, I, actually it works, and I can show it now. Since you were talking about the cup and handle that I. Um, yeah. discovered on my previous video on Monday, I can also show you that. Let me just, oh, sorry. Uh, let me delete that. And okay. So go. I guess we don't need the Bitcoin dominance chart anymore. I already showed my thoughts about the altcoin season having uh, passed already. So this is the MRI strategy charts, which I use the tone vase MRI indicator that a lot of people know and i was just you know navigating the charts the other day and uh this is the daily but i need to show this yeah so so this is what uh, right. i so i was looking at the charts and this is the all-time high of the sixty-four thousand, and i was looking at the charts and this looked something really familiar to me which is a cup and handle 
And I'm sure that every beginner of the markets knows a cup and hand already. This is one of the most famous uh, price structures or patterns. And yeah, one I of just the most reliable it. too. It's really one of the most reliable there is. Yeah, exactly. One of the most reliable. And I was looking at this and I thought this looks like a cup and this looks like a handle. So I just, I just plotted it on screen. And as you guys know, the, um, the handle usually ends around 50% of the size of the cup, the height of the cup, right? And this looked very, very perfect to me. So I even discussed it with Tone Vase yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. I sent him a message and he also looked at it in his live stream. And he said, yeah, actually, this has all the properties of a cup and handle. And this is a huge cup and handle. Yeah. Because this is starts around the 13th of May and ended right now with the breakout of the handle in October. So this is a lot, a, a big cup and handle here. And you guys know what this pattern means. It means that the height of the cup usually is replicated to the upside of the cup. So we are now breaking out of this uh, bullish pattern here, which is the handle, which is a downtrend um, channel. And we broke out the other day and we are now going up like crazy. And my bet is that the next stop is around 74K, which is exactly the size of the cup. So mm -hmm. I, was, I was looking at this and I found it really funny that I didn't find a cup and handle for so long. And this one looked so perfect. And finally, there's a cup and handle here. Well, so you this know, is what we've we got, were talking about, right? <laughs> yeah, you know what? It, I, I, I'm just kind of amazed because I tend to jump the gun on this stuff. The economy, the world economy is, is simply a train wreck. And the other that it just is. And and the crypto exchanges, banks, they're they are uh, a, a train wreck re waiting to happen. So that's where we're at. And the way I describe it is because the whole world economy is in this train wreck, it's like it's very difficult. At least it is for me. It's like if you're in a train wreck and you just had a went off the rails or you had a head on whatever happens you the train <clears throat> you were sitting inside and our hands are flaying on everywhere and we can't it, it's impossible to know what to do until the wreck ends and it just you know this is a, a train wreck that's happening right now before our eyes and i just don't i, I think it's predict about the only thing that we can predict is you know bitcoin's our safest bet right now it it's, just is a hundred percent. There's nothing, there's nothing, le there's nothing less of a risk off than Bitcoin. Yeah. Uh, have I said that right? Yeah. There, there's nothing, there's nothing more secure than Bitcoin. So, all right. <laughs> I well, well I, any... I, I, I hope this is right because, you know, knowing the, all the properties needed to have a cup and handle, you need at least 50% retracement from the top of the cup to the halfway of the cup here. And this fulfills exactly those properties. So I was really amazed that this cup and yeah, handle. And, I, and I've been looking at the same thing. There's a decade long uh, cup and handle in gold. So I'm remain, I've been bullish. Oh, that one is beautiful. I, oh, I can just, show it's that incredible. one. Incredible. Uh, and I mean, if there's, I've never seen any, this is the most bullish thing I've ever seen uh i haven't i've traded it like crap and so i you know my money management has kicked in guys i i might this might be the first year since 2013 where i actually lose in trading now i haven't i'm ahead because my net worth has gone up my hodl's not as bad i've had much larger hodls but i have other assets that i didn't have and that's what this is work it's yeah. not necessarily you you yeah. have to put this bitcoin to work it yeah. is hodl 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 save 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 build a build a build it and that's what i'm going to be just re-emphasizing emphasizing and re-emphasizing to teach uh because it you know if we do it's like holding gold isn't going to do anything for you yeah. holding bitcoin i mean you might be the richest man in the cemetery but you know if whole systems don't work hey uh, i mean this can't much, buy it's much easier all right Okay, well, keep so, going. You got good stuff. I'm gonna. I gotta take an old man break. But oh, you wanted me to 
you wanted me to say something about me, right? Uh, yeah, like a do short that. Story yeah, of... dude, dude, yeah. Dude, tell us about yourself because I, you're one of the guys <laughs> I want to. I've always wanted to go visit Portugal. Anyway, you're from Portugal. I know that you you speak yeah. Portuguese. You you're real excited about uh, what's going on in San Salvador. So am I. Uh, I know they have that uh latin america bitcoin conference i'm kind of disappointed because one of the featured speakers is vitalic but i know jimmy song will be there and josh well i would like to go but i just can't uh, i will be going to tones financial summit and which we'll outline that later which there, I, I i think you can still get on that it's not cheap guys it costs you i think it's six thousand mm. uh, dollars so it's i it's was not, not invited not. to that <laughs> <laughs> well we might be able to do something about that. I mean, I think you'd be, I think you'd really enjoy it. It'd be very good for you. I, I think I think you're really. I, I like your analysis. I think you're doing a great yeah. job. So yeah, tell us about yourself, and uh, we'll go from there. Well, just a short story then about me. So I I um I started to hear the word Bitcoin around 2015, around 2016. And these were the, uh, by the end of 2015, beginning of 2016, I started to research a bit more about Bitcoin and to try to understand what this was. Uh, of course, it took me a long time to really get it. Uh, and some people still didn't get it, but they will. And um, it's not really easy at first or at first contact just to understand or to get it exactly as it should be understood. but. Then I decided to buy my first Bitcoin in the beginning of 2017. Um, that's when I started to really um, invest in, in, in Bitcoin and put my, my net value in Bitcoin. Uh, I also saw what the future was reserving for all Bitcoiners. And I was in 2017, I was working in Ireland. Um, I was a software development director there in a company. Uh, and then uh, when I really saw what was happening, I decided to quit my job, go back to Portugal and go full time Bitcoin 100 percent, just investing in the markets and uh, following this uh, Bitcoin trend, the gold uh, 2.0, which is Bitcoin, of course. So this is the, you know, since then I started to invest in the markets in 2017, then uh, the 2018 bear market started and uh, we had to hold a lot of time until 2020 to see new highs again. And here I am and I decided to start my own podcast in March this year when I actually thought I was able already to uh, fully understand Bitcoin and actually pass on some knowledge to other people that decide to subscribe to my channel. And here I am now in 2021 almost by the end of the year. And I still believe that we will see a new all time high before this year ends. So let's see how that I'm goes. not going to argue with anybody on that. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I got my fingers crossed, but Hey, you know what? Uh, <laughs> I, you know, I don't even know if I hope you're right. I hope you guys are wrong because I, I, you know, gosh, if we go up to a hundred thousand, that's going to be spooky. And you know, it's really, I what? just the more time we have, the better it is. Oh, you want it? Okay, you see a slow, gradual. No, I don't down. see it. It could oh, be very quick. Because no. it can be. It can yeah. Be. No, really no, you be. can't take that chance. No. no I th I th okay, I th just th to just to if you allow me, just to finalize where people can find me. So yeah. let me just yeah. put it here in uh, full screen. This is my Twitter account. I go by the name of. Well, what happened? You got kicked off of there. What happened? What did you oh, say? Yeah, that yeah, yeah. I didn't tell you about it. So I was kicked out of Twitter uh, last week because of characterizing the Australian government as uh, one government we used to have in Europe in the 30s, you know, <laughs> in Central Europe. Uh, but now I don't say the word anymore, but I just said that the Australian government was something like the government of a Central European country in the 30s. Fascists. And yeah. Twitter yeah. banned me, so they just kicked me out and deplatformed me, and I had to create a new account. I u I used to have uh, two thousand followers on Twitter, and now I have ten percent of that, two hundred. Oh <laughs> man, it takes a long time to because, build that up. This because. was the second yeah, okay. time. This was the second time I was banned oh, because really? I. Yeah, this account that was banned last week, I had it for one year, and in one year I had I was able to get two thousand followers. 
But this uh, was my uh, second account already, the one that was when now I have my third account. <laughs> so the <laughs> first one I started my first account, which was banned just before the elections in the United States. I was uh, I had that account since 2009 on Twitter. Wow. And that one was banned because I was also uh, speaking my mind about the elections in the United States and, uh, you know, some uh, comments about Trump oh, gosh, and gosh. stuff like that. So I got banned then one year ago around, you know, August 2020. Then I created a second account, which was banned last week. And now this is my third account. <laughs> well, I don't speak my mind on the elections because I think that that's pretty well. Uh, but I, I, I. I uh. After I did, after I went through the federal system back in the eighties, I knew we were doomed. I already, you know, what people are learning now, I learned, uh, uh, uh you know, 20 years ago oh, okay. and it doesn't surprise me. Yeah. I, I think it's very uh, unlikely that it's going to be fixed from within. I don't think it's going to yeah. be done. I wish those well, they have my support, but I, you good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, you know, by I the way, that people can be aware of, Yeah. By the way, this is why my name now on Twitter is Ghost of yes. Hugo Hammer. I like it. Right. That's great. The Be ghost. So the double yes, ghost. I came, back, I came back as a ghost, man. You came back um, twice, man. That's good to see. Yeah, this is the second second ghost already. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we'll probably get okay. banned for exposing that you were banned. I don't know. Maybe, that, maybe that's a new rule. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so my podcast, just uh, to finalize everything, my podcast, you can find me on YouTube. If you go to youtube.com slash Hugo Ramos PT, which is exactly the same name as Twitter, but the podcast name is FU Money uh, Podcast. So this is the homepage of my podcast um, and you can find me there. Please subscribe if you enjoy my content. And uh, of course, I will be glad if you guys do. Yeah, send so all those. It, I I guess. Put, put all those links on the Telegram group, Let's and we'll it. post it on this video after we. Oh, I can look back if I had if and buts for candy and nuts, and I have all this. If I, but you know what? Yeah. We have other things. I'm. We're happy. To, you're happy here. Love right? it. Oh, yeah. Dude. I mean, it's a pleasant. We have a pleasant life here, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the quality of life means something. It does. <laughs> you yeah, know, does. like say the this financial summit is in Dubai. Dubai. But you know what? Dubai is really the last place I want to go. <laughs> I mean, I've never been there. We're going to go and it'll be fun and all it's that. So but, but, but I don't want to go around a whole bunch of rich people. My, you know, we're not that kind of people. Yeah. I'd much rather be going down to San Salvador with the goat lady. Cause I know yeah. the goat lady. Would, yeah. for, I mean, we'll have fun and all that. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, like yeah. we did. Yeah. And, but, but like Bali, was yeah. very uh she liked getting into the more of the people we were in the beautiful hotel but she had a great time yeah, going yeah. outside and that was the last financial summit was yeah the last it, financial yeah, yeah, summit it was yeah. a beautiful place but yeah, yeah. i was just uh i mean but, with the restrictions and stuff i guess the only place for turn i the, the restrictions aren't better in dubai i guess but that's about one of the few places yeah, in the, the world yeah. but but it's you know one of the problems is it's a, yeah Bali's closed basically. It's like Australia, like all Australia. the rest of it. Yeah. 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 So, but but I mean, I'm sure that if uh, Tone could have planted it a different way, he'd have planted it down in El. But but well, he didn't hey. know that. He didn't oh, know yeah, the yeah. illegal tender when that yeah. was going to happen. So, yeah. Yeah. any rate, then and uh, yeah. uh, and so and this is more for the the well healed anyway. I mean, people that are established and and uh, the well healed people and. And so I want to toss out ideas. I, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm settled in what I'm doing, but I don't want to, I will never do an, uh, a big venture by myself anymore. Like I did when I was young and I started gold standard corporation. I wouldn't want, I've got the domain Bitcoin standard corporation, but I would have no <laughs> desire to have that all by myself. <laughs> oh, Okay, Hugley, I uh, I should go now because I I have uh, to cook dinner because in this house the one cooking dinner is me. <laughs> oh, well, good. All right, sounds good. That's Thank so you for coming so, on, man. I'm glad you had. Hey, time we for should it. we should really do another interview soon. Yeah, I would oh, really like to have you on the channel. Be glad to do it. Pull it, pull. You pulled some things out of me, which is good. I'll yeah, tell you what. Yeah. So, any? Can you scroll up? See if anybody asks any questions. <laughs> That's it. All right. All right. So let's go look at some of the other things. Let's uh, let's go look at uh, Tone's financial summit. So people can do that first. I yeah. will be here. The goat lady and I will both be there. And so it is November 
6th to the 12th, and we're going to leave right after that because we have the, the uh, Baja 1000. It comes after that. And <clears throat> that the Baja 1000, I think, is the same, is the same time as the LA Bitcoin uh, conference. Yeah. So I'm not going to, there's no way I'm going to, yeah. yeah. and, and plus it's going to be more a promotional thing. They're going to have the shit coiners there. And I, when I go there, we really want to oh, see what's right. really going on. Huh? Yeah. Cause you show the, the videos. Yeah. It's going to be a bit, a bit a shit shit yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Giacomo is going to be there. Jimmy, so yeah, it'll Jimmy. be a good representation. It'll be good. But guys, this is the one you want to go to. Okay. Starts. At, I'm sorry. It starts at nine thousand uh, dollars. Not yeah, six thousand, yeah. but it's nine thousand dollars. And uh, yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. it's not cheap, but it includes everything but the alcohol. And it's very informal. Or just. just <laughs> I, I don't know why they got me up there on front. That's kind of silly. But at any rate, if you want to come and see the goat, goat lady and I, we will be there. And hopefully, I'll have some things going on. Uh, Willie Wu. Willie. Okay. Yeah. And there's some funds coming. We hit more delegates. All right. For I don't know Brad. All right. Beyond it. Adrian Kazan. Okay. Oh. And I'm De De Jeremy Da Vinci. Da Vinci's now, I, be there. I met him at the last summit. Jesus. He's a very successful uh, shit coiner. He, so, he but, but out. And he it, you know, like out. say, we he, are all agreed, guys. If you want to trade shit coins, it's fine. Just, just don't, don't think that you've got something of value that's going to exactly. hold hold on to its value. Exactly. exactly. And then Joe Satz, which you know, he yes, works. Yes. Uh, he now he's working with Emily, but he also started his his uh, uh, little trading analysis based on uh, who, audible. Yeah. Yeah. Based on on. Yeah, order volume, which you couldn't do until now, and now it's legitimate. Yeah, and then Sammy Loyal. Mm -hmm. So here he is. He's a youngster. I don't know him either, but I, that's what he. Yeah, is he? Um, I think I know him. He goes by a different name on uh, on YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I've not followed him, but yeah, I'll yeah. be. I, I'm he's, sure a we'll, he's a good trader. He's good trader. Yeah. Well, it's you know it is a, a young man's sport, so I I think that the Trading. older men tend to do better. I, I really? I've seen it's like me as a youngster, you can wind it, you'll make it, lose it, and yeah, what the heck. Okay. But as uh, the old guys tend to just be consistent. Yeah. And, yeah. All right. So at any rate, guys, if you can make it uh, to Dubai, I'm going to Dubai and looking forward to it just because I've never been there. Yeah. It'll probably be my only time. I, have you ever been there? No. Okay. I've been to Egypt. Okay. So well, I've been Middle to East Turkey is, and I've been to Israel. Like, you're going to like it, man. It's hot. It's like it's warm like here. It's probably going to be really like in terms of where you're going to go. Like Dubai is a brand new city. Oh, I know. Hundred percent. Everything they have Lambos for for police cars. I was reading. Exactly. Yeah, it's just, I was just it's say. the richest place in the world. You know. Gotti's for cops. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, it's it's also run by one bloke. You know, the prince. Or yeah, the prince. Is. Right. So I mean, so, it's oil money. You, yeah. But you, my, you know, feeling. the problem I have with that: how strong is that economy? I it's mean, it's kind of like a, it's a bunch of spoiled rich it's, kids. Yeah. I feel secure here in Mexico because yeah. the world goes to hell in the handbasket. They're yeah. Mexico's going to rise up. Yeah. I mean, we're not going to have any problem. Right. That's they the problem with the, yeah. Want. That's the problem but, with the legacy system. Right. Right. So, so the whole right. So basically, that's what. The only thing that they can, they can't control Bitcoin, but yeah, they can control say, yeah. the on and off ramps. That's it. That's it. And that's, that's it. where they have the control. That's where they have the control. Right. And so the secret is, Which going, is that. It, and so that's why I've also argued that BitMEX is actually not the weakest exchange, but the strongest exchange because they're still not a legacy. The Department of Justice, the FBI, they wanted to shut that Absolutely. website they down, could. but yeah. they couldn't. Yeah. These guys are under indictment. Yeah. They're being persecuted, yeah. uh, but they, still they, they weren't shut down. It's not like BTC&E. It's yeah. not like Silk Road. Yeah. 
gas. or you know or anything yeah, like yeah, that it's yeah. not like an exchange where where yeah. you know decentralized right one place. They're, yeah. and they're not trading in dollars no, you know they don't do anything in dollars yeah. it's all bitcoin. bitcoin and so that's the key as long as you're not offering that on yeah. and off ramp yeah. Uh, there's really, uh, you know, and you know, the security and I, you know, I don't, you have to be an expert in, yeah. in Bitcoin security yeah. and, uh, you know, your, your client base is protected. So yeah. I think in the long run, you'll, we will see, uh, uh, Arthur Hayes and the Bitcoin four will come out of this and, and hopefully take us all to new levels. Yeah. They are warriors and they deserve, yeah. that's why my hands down, they, they were the 20, I mean, 20 uh, Bitcoin standard bear uh, award winners. That's they're they're, in they're, a way they 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 they're using Bitcoin for the way it should be used. Exactly. It's it's it's, it's a roundabout way of going a, around this legacy system, right. and and that's the intention of Bitcoin to to overthrow. Right. And they did it without way. any legal tender. You know, that's the only problem. I mean, I really like what you know. I respect Jack, Jack Miller Lawrence. and everything, but but. You know, you you definitely have a problem once you start playing that legal tender game. Political. He's got a yeah. yeah. He, he, governments can change, and yeah. the U.S. government has this. You know, yeah. we've we've never been able to leave uh, Central America alone, and yeah. and so uh, there's a lot of political. <laughs> you yeah. know, and I hope it's different this time, and hopefully with with well with with, with Bitcoin, Bitcoiners, it can it be it can different. be different. yeah. It can be and so I, yeah. you know, yeah. there's hope there. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so let's see what else did I want to look at? Oh, did you put up that one article six sixteenth and twenty six? If you can look at that on Medium, that's all right. What else are we going to look at? We'll put it on the uh, on the credits. So, yeah. um, oh, I, I we'll put a link to uh, one of my tracks, maybe. Oh, yeah, 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 we can play one now. You, you want to link it now? Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> Satoshi sent me free is the la the latest one. Yeah, I got Satoshi, Satoshi, Satoshi gave me wings. Loving Satoshi, Satoshi, Satoshi sent us free. Satoshi, do you? Satoshi, freaking NGU technology. I was fucking working for Fiat. Now I've already built myself a Stuff. Oh, dude, I've got something coming for you. Oh, you, uh, oh that's good surprise. stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, there's a few. I, I've so, got... how, how do you monetize that? That's really, I mean, you're doing a lot of stuff here, but you, you, you're doing it out of your heart. I can tell that. Oh, man. I, I the, 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 the hope that, that Bitcoin has given me, I, I was in a bad place. I, I don't think I've ever been quite as low as some people get, but you know, when, when you look around at the world, and, and obviously this, this um, these restrictions make everything so much more crazy, but then when you're fueled with the power of Bitcoin, everything becomes beautiful, clean, and wonderful and beautiful, and you just feel the energy that the the monetary energy that actually is supposed to be a positive force in the world. Yeah. And and that's not 
it's a useful tool. It's, a tool. it's like electricity, it you is. know, exactly. it can kill you or it can it give can you light. Give you light. Yeah. And and yeah. that's exactly what it is. It is. And, it is. And it's a it is a beautiful thing. Yeah. And we're on the right track. So yeah. uh and we got potential here. So one day at a time, I need to finish my project. You're on the right. I, I didn't, this is incredible stuff that you're doing. Uh, I got, I got about right. 10, I got, I, I got about 10 tracks all dedicated to Bitcoin now. And um, I'm just, uh, I'm working on something for you. Oh, that'd so be great. we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I've, I've got a fair bit of editing to do still. So what's that um, shirt you got on? It's a Bitcoin, man. Okay. Well, yeah, I thought yeah. it was okay. That's a nice. That's a nice shirt. Where'd you get that one? Uh, online somewhere. Um, is it Red Bubble? I think. It's a, it's, there's a there's a Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin shop there. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Well, this is what we're doing. Uh, members, you know, we you're down here in Ensenada. Sometimes swing by. We've got some bunk bedging stay on. We got across the street, which we have yet to develop. Have you been, have I showed you across the street? I haven't been across the street. Oh, I'll yeah. take you over there after we're yeah. done here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, <laughs> guys, <clears throat> thanks for tuning in and we will see you again. Hopefully this weekend we'll have our ca camera and we start doing these informal yeah. living room colloquies. <laughs> All right. Thanks for tuning in guys. Bye-bye.